Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys remember, this video I had posted of me when I went thrift shopping, I found these lovely bed sheets that were like $2.99 per one. So what my plan was to do is actually cut the bed sheet in half to, to create two curtain panels. So I will just point out that I did go ahead and wash everything with bleach and, you know, laundry soap. I washed them a couple times. I wanted to get any kind of stain out of there if there was any. And then I hung them flat, flat so they could dry flat. So then I went to Dollar Tree and I picked up a couple mops, like I said in another previous video, to pick up those mops because we're going to use the entire mop for different projects. So obviously you guys have guessed it, for this specific project we're using the bar of the mop. And I got the mops on purpose because the thing is with the mops, we're actually able to use the bar, the handle piece that's on the bar, the very end slash the mop, and then you can unscrew the mop from this little piece right here. So you have four different things to use within one mop, if that makes sense. Anyways, I took the mop heads off because I'm actually going to use the mop head for different projects like the string I'll use for like macrame projects. And then this little guy, I'm actually going to use the this piece as well for another project. Maybe not this specific one because I kind of broke it in a way. But yeah, so I always go for the mops instead of the brooms. And now we have two poles. I just pulled off the little handle thing that's on the end. I just pulled it off. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, you guys kind of already know where this is going. I'm going to actually glue these together with some E6000 glue. So I'm going to pop those in. I'm going to put some tape over like this crack to really like push it and hold it together onto this. So this will be one solid long bar. And the cool thing about this is I only spent $2 so far making this fairly long carton rod. Then I'm going to spray paint it. So here I'm just showing you guys. I used E6000 glue to glue the two bars together. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean these iron pipe pieces I actually got at Menards. You can get these at Home Depot or Lowe's or even online, maybe Amazon. So I bought like a pack of each thing, and some I did buy individually, but these were only half an inch. That's what fits the pole for the Dollar Tree is half an inch. So I got a curved one, a little straight piece that was about three inches long, and then I also got the base, so I'm able to screw it to the wall. So let's go ahead and get started with these. Just make sure that they're put in correctly and they're lined up evenly. This one's a little off. So then after you attach it with E6000 glue to your room pole slash our new curtain rod, which you will have to kind of twist the broom pole, whatever you want to call this thing, into the threads of the iron piping. After it has dried, we're going to go ahead and spray paint it. Or you could probably spray paint it while it's drying. I don't think that's too big of a deal. I use flat soft iron and metallic oil rubbed bronze. I got these from Walmart, a couple dollars. I've had them on hand, so really this didn't cost me anything. As your curtain rods are drying, we can go ahead and move on to sewing the curtains slash bed sheets to make our curtain panels. So I'm trying to figure out which fabric slash, you know, bed sheet <laughs> that I want to use in which window because I obviously want a sheer effect. And for the most part, the ones I picked out will give that sheer effect. They're not going to be full opaque, if that makes sense. So now I'm just figuring out how exactly I'm going to attach it to my dried curtain rod. And the best way I came up with was actually hot gluing the ends together. Or ends, you know what I mean, like the, the edge, I would rather, the edge. To close that in to make it look you know, a finished look. I obviously went the same direction as the other side that was sewed together, like this. 
So I want everything facing towards the back. I don't want my flaps, my edges like coming forwards on the curtain. If you wanted to try and sew this, you can, but I just thought hot gluing is going to be so much faster and it'll be easier to take apart if I do need to take them off the pole since we are going to be gluing this around the curtain rod and then attaching it to the wall. Now I know that sounds a little bit funny. I've actually never done that before because it's kind of silly to do that because I'd actually have to remove the entire curtain rod off the wall if I wanted to wash my curtains. So this method might not be for everybody, but I just wanted to put something up because I was sick of looking at my windows. So bear, this it's been almost three years and I have not put up curtains. So it was it was time to do something. You know what I'm saying? This is a quick, easy way. I only paid a dollar for each broomstick, so that was two dollars for the curtain rod. I paid like literally cents for these little iron pieces that I'm showing you. So the total on that, we'll just say, was $4 per, like, whole thing. So four, that's $6 for the entire curtain rod. You cannot beat that price, and it looks really nice. And then, again, $1.50 per panel, I would say. Yeah, I am under $10 for an entire, you know, curtains and curtain rod. But here, I'm just actually showing you exactly how I'm attaching the curtain panel to the curtain rod. So now I'm ready to go ahead and install it onto the wall. This part was a little tricky just because there's one of me. So if you have an extra pair of hands around, please have them help you. It's a lot easier. I end up having to tape the unit to the wall. And then even so, it wasn't even. I had to go back and remove one side and fix it. It was a kind of a whole ordeal. But I did get it done, and I think it looks so nice. I end up going with about three inches from the ceiling or rather four inches above my window frame. And here I'm showing you it does cover the entire window if I wanted to close them. And it still lets in a lot of light. So I love these. This was such a great idea. Very inexpensive. Here is the turnout. <laughs> I went ahead and did my other one off camera. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked any part of it, please consider subscribing for more DIY projects. And as always, have a blessed day.